similar to me right next to Highline. We as a community, as both pirates and Durian residents, need to stand against these same events to prevent them from happening in our own school. It is our duty to make sure everyone can come to school feeling safe and that we don't lose those around us to hatred, like the lives lost to hatred last month. Thank you all for taking the time out of your schedule to participate in this walkout and to join us in the display of love, tolerance, and remembrance. I, as well as everyone involved in preparing this event, hope that you may have learned something and will join us in our efforts to protect our community. We meet every Wednesday in the Saudi group in preparation for events like this, and would love to have as many people helping as possible. Thank you. Principal of Highline High School. And what do you think of what happened here? Well, I'm very proud of my students. It was very moving, wasn't it? It was. Thanks. Thank you. Can you tell us a little about how you planned this? Uh, yeah, so when we had heard about the news um, of the shooting, a lot of people instantly decided to take action. And so we tried to figure out the best way that we could not only make people aware of the situation, but also remember what had happened. And so we had a lot of people involved in creating this process. And uh, yeah, we just tried to make the best way possible to not only build awareness, but also create remembrance. Great. And what's your name? William. <laughs> Thank you, William. Good job today. Thank you. Very moving. Okay. So the initial sort of idea about what we wanted to do here was um, we were pretty much outraged at all of the senseless violence that's been going on for like years and years now. Like ever since Columbine and Sandy Hook, like this, it's just been way too easy to like make events like this happen. So we've, we wanted to, for this uh, protest, we wanted to raise awareness for the type of things that are going on here and sort of like make people know that this is a real issue. Like there are lots of people who are arguing, this isn't like that big of a deal, it's not that likely to happen near me, but not even a week ago, somebody brought a gun to Sylvester and was arrested, which is a block away from the school where I'm at. Like it's an actual problem and we want people to see that. And do you go to school here? Yeah, I'm a sophomore here. Okay. Well, good job. Thank you. It was very well done. Thank you. Very somber and moving. I actually shed tears. What, uh, so he was reading the names off of my notebook and when I was writing them down I was actually tearing up a little bit reading about how they died because yeah. like they're just they're real people like they actually have lives and there's a story to them and they're like if they lived nearly like three states away they could well not like three that's like all the way across the country but if they lived a couple states away they could have gone to Highline and I could have known them mm -hmm. that's like, pretty sad I just can't help but think like, hey, that could have been me. So that's why I like, I don't want it to have been me. I don't want it to have been anybody. That's what this whole thing was about. Good. Well, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.